Alright guys welcome back and in this video we're going to be quickly taking a step back and actually just learn how to write a proper HTML document right. So so far we have been doing you know just just writing random things on the screen uh, whatever we liked inside this editor but that is not really how the specification of HTML states how things should be. So what HTML says is that in order to write a proper document, you have to follow certain guidelines, right? Now, just like I said, HTML won't complain and it'll just bite the bullet and let the browser um, construct the proper appropriate uh, structure for you. But it's always, always necessary to know your, for yourself as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off and I'm going to tell you how everything like this should be organized. So what we start off in HTML with the first thing is a doc type. So a doc type HTML, this tag, you can see that it's it's not a regular tag. It starts with this and an exclamation mark, right? No tag in HTML starts like this, right? Except for comment if you have observed. So a comment starts like this in HTML, right? But a doc type is not a comment. It is actually read by the browser and the browser understands. So doc type HTML is something you can just, you know, just maybe... Uh, learn for yourself and forget but it just means that whatever you're writing is compliant with HTML5 standard. Before doc type HTML there were very large doc types and you could not really remember because it involved the use of URLs and stuff but with HTML5 it's all this nice small and sweet so you just have to write doc type HTML and you're good to go. Next thing is you actually have to start the document with the HTML tag itself. So the specification states that everything should actually go inside these two tags and right you can see that once we do that browser really throws up why i have no idea why because you know the browser was unable to understand what you're trying to do and just just you know just cannot really take it anymore and just commit suicide i don't know why but anyway let's just keep moving on and just bring it back to life so once you are inside HTML, what you need to do is define two more sections called as head and body, right? So I don't know what's up with the indentation, but here we are. So these two sections contains um, certain information about what, what is happening in your document. Now, just like you as a person, all the processing, all the all the you know fetching of information and everything goes inside your head and your body is what people see which is like super lame now the way i'm saying it so let's just drop this way so we're gonna stick it to semantics only <laughs> so what head does is that it contains all the information which is not actively visible to the user you see that this link tag is not really visible to the user the effect of adding this link tag is visible, right? So basically, what what goes inside the head tag is are the tags whose effect is visible on the page. Link tag is one of them. You know, when you add JavaScript, external JavaScript to the page, the external JavaScript itself is not really visible to the user, but the effect of adding that is visible. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and write it right here, right? And I'm going to go ahead and cut all this out and I'm going to put this out inside the body tag. So there's that, right? This now is a proper HTML5 document. Now, I don't really know if we have, you know, some, some lang attributes or something like that. There might be some attributes which I'm missing for a proper HTML document. I don't really know. But yeah, more or less, this is, this is what exactly we need, right? So yeah, that's that's basically it for a proper HTML document. But for this this video series and everything, we can actually bite the bullet and skip this all because you know let the browser do the uh, the handling of the big things, and we can just keep it like this. Oops, I guess I moved the uh, link rel tag as well. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and move this. But obviously, when you're creating your own little projects, make sure to follow the correct document syntax. We can do it right now because we are just letting browser handle it and you know yeah we can just let the browser handle it because it will just make our code a little bit cleaner for me to explain you and uh, do the stuff 
So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.